Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. Joey with Winter Park Cycles here in lovely Orlando, Florida. Here today to talk about the brand new Cervelo R5. Just released this week. Um, not new to some of you who are eagle-eyed and super keen on what the pros are riding. The Jumbo Visma team has been riding this for a couple months now, although Cervelo hasn't really said anything officially about it. Um, they have been riding it, so officially, here it is. Um, and what do we got here? This is um, the Cervelo R5. This is the Force Axis ETAP build. So it's coming obviously with the SRAM Force Axis ETAP equipment. Um, come on, power meter installed in the crank, which is fantastic. Reserve wheels on them. Interesting thing about these reserve wheels is actually they have zip hoop or zip hubs laced to the hoops. So they're that 76, 176 hubs um, that you'll find on the uh, 303S's, not on the Firecrest hubs or wheels, I should say. Uh, but uh, it's pretty cool that they're putting a nice premium zip hub into that super nice reserve 34 wheel set there. Um, big changes that they made for this bike for this year are going to be. They dropped 130 grams off the weight of the frame set, which is pretty good. And they, they kind of shed some weight really everywhere at frame, fork, seat post, across the board. Um, they improved the, the tire clearances on it. They're claiming that it'll take up to a 34 millimeter tire. I think that's open for some debate, but, um, and I'm not really sure why you'd want to run a 34 millimeter tire on kind of their lightweight climbing bike. Um, if you were going to go that route, I think I'd go the Caledonia 5 route. Um, see the link below to a, our buddy Sean's review of the Caledonia 5. Um, but you could go that you could go to 34, they're saying, if you if you did want to. So that's a pretty cool uh, upgrade there as well. Made some little improvements to the uh, to the seat post clamp, which is nice. Uh, and then of course the really, really big change they made is um, they're running all the cables internally through the, the handlebar stem and then into the frame. So you've got no exposed cables like you're seeing on their Caledonia 5 and their S series. Um, and on the Earth Sparrow 5. And what's really cool is they're actually using the same stem handlebar fork design across the board with their Caledonia 5, their Sparrow 5, and their uh, R5 so that it's kind of uniform and you can use the same stems, handlebars, things like that. Um, and it, it is a really good design. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's there's no perfect design, but I think Cervelo did a pretty good job there. Um, other than that, you know, a lighter bike, faster bike, they are doing some different builds. Uh, shown here, like I said, is the SRAM Force Axis ETAP build. Uh, they're doing a Altegra DI2 version, a Durace DI2 version, and a Red Axis um, ETAP version as well too. So this being a, um, kind of that premium R5 model, they're specking all of their complete bikes with those premium equipment from either SRAM or Shimano. So uh, that's a some really cool options there. Uh, shown in the video here, obviously the Force Axis ETAP build and then the frame set as well too. The bikes are coming in two different colors, uh, coming in with, I think they're calling like a lime shimmer and black, and then just, uh, they're calling this a five black, I think. Um, basically flat black and white, can't go wrong there. It doesn't show the dirt. Um, you can kind of always spruce it up however you like with some different color bar tape or maybe some tan wall tires or something like that. But uh, overall, pretty impressed with the bike. We do have a, a handful in stock, and we will be putting out a long-term review a little bit later. So uh, make sure you hit subscribe or or uh, and ring the uh, the bell for those notifications for when we do put out more videos like this. Uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, we'll link down in the description below to the bike to our website. You can always chat with us there on the site. You can hit us up in our DMs on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Pick up the phone, call us, text us. So many good ways to get in touch with us. So. Reach out. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for tuning in.